What is happening everybody, my name is Glyscore101 and welcome back to First Impressions. Today we are watching Jump In. This one I actually do have backstory for why I picked it. So I was talking to my sister about this whole thing and I said I couldn't decide what movie I wanted to watch next. Because I wanted it to be one that was a bit more obscure because I have a fucking hundred movies to go through and they're not all high school musical and in terms of people actually knowing about them so I wanted a weirder pick that people didn't really know about but that was also kind of interesting and she just responded wasn't there some movie about people playing jump rope so we're gonna watch that movie today let's jump in it's the title of the movie Oh shit, it does in fact start with Jump Rope. Oh, it's the guy from fucking High School Musical, I forgot. I learned this when I was looking up the movie, but I forgot that it was him. Hi Chad, I think his name was. Pretty sure it's Chad, he looks like a Chad. I wonder if this guy is actually that athletic, because he was playing a basketball man in High School Musical too. If he's actually impressively athletic, this might be interesting. What the fuck is he even doing? What a twat. What would he have done if he dropped that orange? He didn't even buy it. What a prick. I was gonna say, do people really play skipping rope this much? And then I remembered, I kinda did. Alright, I've decided to mock jump rope despite the fact that I used to do it at the lunchtime at school. <clears throat> Jump Rope is fucking stupid. Why are they making a movie about it? Oh, the mom's dead. Ha ha ha. Suck it, Chad. Good job, jackass. I know Jump Rope is something that professional boxers do, like minding their footing, keeping it light. So I guess that's where they're going with this. But is the plotline going to be that he picks jumping rope over boxing? Because, like, fine, do whatever you want, but I'm gonna laugh my ass off if the plotline is this boxing boy suddenly decides, no, jumping rope competitively. That's my passion. I don't know how I feel about the whole boy and girl who don't like each other end up liking each other in the end. Because on one hand, I really hate how it's like, it's kind of like a bad relationship, but that's true love. But on the other hand, that can happen, and like, people making fun of each other when they're in a relationship is something that I do when I'm dating someone, so... It's really a thing where they need to get the power dynamic right. When it's an equal dynamic on both sides, then it's fine, but whenever one person has more power over the other, and uses that to insult the other person and make them actively feel bad, that's when the relationship becomes toxic, so we'll see how this balances that. Rodney, the neighborhood bully. Oh my god, stop with the fucking narrating! We can tell he's a bully! He's beating up Urkel over there! That's big, Rodney! He's like two inches taller than Chad! And Chad isn't even that big. I think I could take that guy. Chad once beated Rodney twice his size, which was very small for a Rodney, but still much bigger than a Chad boy. Jesus, damn, I can't believe they're making Jump Rope look impressive. I feel like throughout this First Impressions videos, my story is going to be mimicking that of the main character, where I slowly learn to respect Jumping Rope as an actual sport. <laughs> it's funny because, like... Cheetah Girls had music, Up Up and Away had superhero stuff people could get behind, Xenon had space stuff you could get behind, but Jump In's big hook, the big selling point is, we got really impressive jump rope. And right now I think I'm enjoying the impressive jump rope more than any of the other things I've seen. Why is the referee so worn out? He looks like he just went 10 rounds. I also zoned out for a second there and didn't comprehend that he won. Good for you, Chad. Good for you. 
Okay, these movies where it's like they're kind of friendly, rivalry, hate each other, but also love each other things, always ride or die on whether the guy comes across as a douchebag or not. And that was charming enough, I would say. I'm interested where the romance goes. They're gonna measure dicks. Something tells me he's at a disadvantage, despite the fact it's dick measuring. He minused one charisma point for shit-talking their sport when they were clearly down. That's a minus one to his charisma check. Right now, I kinda don't like him for that. He's definitely a better leading man than fucking Zac Efron was in High School Musical so far. He's a lot more complex, likeable, and has more going on in general. Ooh, this is a good workaround. They're planning on using him as a temp guy until they can find someone different, but he's gonna fall in love with the game. Damn, right now this is angling to be better than High School Musical. I'm saying that flat out right now. If they pull this together, if it has a good ending, this is above High School Musical. They really need to tone down his douchebagness. I get it, but it's like... At this point, they should kind of bring it back a bit. And I think that's what they're gonna do, so it's not gonna affect it overall, but... If they don't reel in his, Ugh, skipping rope is dumb thing, then it's gonna really get irritating. So all those dumb scenes in the beginning was this setup for his freestyle stuff? Damn it. I hate how much this is coming together. I really want to hate one of these Disney disasters even more than Up, Up and Away. But right now, Up, Up and Away is so far the worst. And here's where it starts infecting the other parts of his life. It's not... It's not super creative. But it's telling its story well enough. It feels like another Xenon, honestly, where it's telling a very basic story well. Is he gonna start freestyle jumping rope during the big boxing thing? Cause that would be hysterical. I would laugh my fucking ass off. Why are they rapping? I don't like rapping. I'm a white boy, I don't understand it on my tiny brain. God, I love how much he can backflip. Oh shit! Went right in for the kiss. Um, Jesus. I'm gonna go work on that I was about to say, if they go for the kiss at the end, then I'm actually gonna be fine with it, because they've set it up well enough with him liking her and her kinda liking him. But wow, that was a power move. She straight up went in for it. I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. Wow, that was creepy as shit. Look at that fucking mo pose. That's... Wow. He's turned into Gollum. Who is his sidekick? Oh my god, the sidekick's gay. Sidekick's totally gonna kiss him at the end. Calling it now. Hot chili steppers. Oh my god. That's such a shitty pun. Fuck you. Uh, is he bailing on practice or- Oh god, he's bailing on the actual thing. Uh, if he bails, uh... Irredeemable character moment incoming. If he bails on the actual tournament, I am gonna lose all respect for this character. Fuck that guy. Especially because I haven't seen a single cell phone throughout this movie, so he might not even call. Is this still a tournament? Was that like a practice? Uh, okay, it wasn't the actual big event. Uh, I still don't know how I feel about it. It was an incredibly dick move. I think if he, if he just shows up, I don't think he'll be redeemed. He'll need to show up and do something else for me to be like, okay, he's redeemed. Like, there was a guy at my, when we were like 11, 12 at my intermediate who was playing netball and he barely got any shit for that. Sure, he did turn out to be gay in the end, but eh. He's gonna find the pictures, 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 he's gonna, the pictures. He's gonna call his son gay. Gay? 
You know, I don't even like it anymore. I'm just doing it for you. That's that's not fair. Just because you don't have a life anymore, it doesn't mean you need to take mine away. <sighs> Harsh, kid. Though I will say, I would have liked this movie a lot more if they had shown him disliking boxing in the first 20 minutes. Rather than just say, maybe I like skipping more than boxing after he starts skipping. There's so much music in this fucking movie! Like, I swear, there's more music than the fucking Cheetah Girls movie, and that actually had a girl group attached to it. What are you talking about? Is this because of Rodney and them? No. Of course it's because of Rodney and them, you ignorant slut! That was probably harsh, but fuck it, this is a comedy series. Ah, he's doing flips in the ring, he's doing it! He's using the skipping rope as a boxing method! Ah, uh, this is gonna be great. Ah, I did the flip! Yeah, boy! I guess this is a creative solution, not even fighting him. This is more than what I expected. They want him to kick him while he's down. Fuck them. If they had focused the message better in the scene, it would have been more impactful. But... Eh. <sighs> Also, fuck this narration! The narration is the worst part of this fucking movie. Every time something impactful happens, it's suddenly like, Now we have to narrate everything to show how impactful that was. Here's what this scene means, audience, in case you're a fucking idiot. I, the worst thing about these Disney disasters is I feel like if I was writing them, I could make them slightly better. Like, I would have had him show up and be like, I'm here to either cheer you on if you don't forgive me, or put on a uniform if you do. Like, just go the extra mile in redeeming this guy, come on. Have they ever done one of these movies where the character is actually gay? <laughs> You know, like a high school musical movie, or one like this, where they want to do the girly thing, and they're like, everyone's gonna call me gay, and then like halfway through the movie they realize, you know what would be great? Suckin' dick. <laughs> I would watch that movie. It'd kind of undermine the message, but it would also be hysterical. Oh my god, they're tied going into the freestyle, what's gonna happen? Mm. You know what's really sad? I think this movie is just a better high school musical. <laughs> it's, t it's telling the same story as high school musical, but it's doing it in a more complex and interesting way, and I can't think of any reason not to put this ahead of high school musical, other than perhaps high school musical was a musical. So we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to look into that when it comes to the Disney Disasters ranking order. The fact that this movie has gotten me invested in the world of competitive jump rope is impressive. Like, I'm genuinely considering looking up some competitive jump rope on YouTube after this, and that is more than I expected out of this film. Their shoes, they glow in the dark? Oh my god, no, this is the coolest movie ever made. I will say I like Gabriella and Troy's relationship in High School Musical more, but their relationship is not bad. Like, I feel like sincerely liking someone from the beginning of the movie is a lot more fun to me than realizing it halfway through. It's a good sign, though, that this movie has left me with I need to think about where this is gonna go on the ranking order, rather than, no, this is the worst, or this is real bad, but better than Up, Up, and Away. It, it, because movies, you're meant to talk about them. You're meant to talk about the characters, you're meant to talk about what you learnt, you're meant to talk about just how fun some scenes were. That's ultimately any filmmaker's goal, to have you think about the movie and talk with it to pe talk about it to people after the fact. And this movie has definitely achieved to that. Aww, that was... It's one of the things where I feel like the subplot was underdeveloped and needed, like, just a little bit more to really be a good thing, but it wasn't done poorly. 
it was executed well enough. But this movie would have got serious props if it had put a little more into this one subplot. Because this is really where the heart of the movie is. The fact that, no, he doesn't really like boxing, he's more into this. But they didn't show that well enough, and that is a shame. But what they did show was consistently good. Who is doing this fucking narration? And can you throw him out of the voiceover booth? Damn it! Uh, this is corny as shit as an ending. Fuck you. Fuck you, movie, for making me put you ahead of High School Musical. I think that's the show, but... Better than what I thought, and... Exceeded my expectations in a lot of ways, but also fell short on the mark in a few ways. That make me incredibly disappointed. The... The ending has left me confused because parts of it were parts of it were nicer than what I thought. It had more emotion to it than what I thought it would. But on the other hand, the things that I predicted would happen did happen in the end and the things that I didn't predict were bad. So anyway, this is going to be one where I think on it, but You'll have seen the review by now, there's a card there, but I'm gonna say, at this point, unless I think of something between now and writing the review, I think this is going ahead of High School Musical. So, good job, jump in on delivering the goods. But anyway, that'll do it for this episode of First Impressions. I hope you've enjoyed it, make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz, and I'll see you guys next time for the next Disney disaster. Bye bye <laughs>